on James last night past Kobe Bryant in the all-time scoring list and he really um, shared some great memories uh, you know about his time playing against Kobe Bryant meeting him for the first time can you talk a little bit about how their relationship had evolved over the past couple of years well I wouldn't say it was a, it, it evolved is not the right word I, I, I think you know when you look at you know, without without Dr. J there might not be Michael Jordan without Michael Jordan there might not be a Kobe and I think LeBron and Kobe are very, very close in age. And so I think they both grew up revering Michael Jordan. And so, you know, I look at great players like that. We would never have experienced, in my opinion, LeBron's greatness if he wasn't trying to chase Kobe, if he wasn't trying to chase Michael Jordan, right? Like that's something that like that, that pushes these guys, that makes them wake up every morning knowing that Kobe Bryant is working. Very similar to Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Magic woke up every day knowing that Larry was one of the hardest workers in the NBA. Larry woke up every morning knowing that Magic Johnson was one of the most talented players that have still ever walked the planet. So it just drove those guys to work and prepare. And I think Kobe Bryant is, you know, one of those guys for LeBron James and a lot of the younger generation of players. And Richard, final thing, that attitude seems to have translated to his post-playing days. Frank and I talked a lot about it throughout the night, and other players have as well. The fact that he seamlessly, it seemed, went right from playing basketball and stepping off the court to finding other competitive and creative outlets. In fact, even winning last year an Oscar for his uh, short film, Dear Basketball. Yeah, and, and, and understanding that you have to prepare well before that moment arrives. And, you know, he's somebody that even as I was getting ready to retire, I saw the work that he was putting in in that moment. And I decided that, hey, if I want to transition and I want to have the ability to do some of the things that I want to do, like, you have to start preparing now. And, you know, those are the things that we talk about his influence. When you talk about a seamless transition, we're not even talking about his basketball career. How many players today watched his transition to post career and now are taking their post career opportunities in life more seriously and i think the most impressive part is how much more you saw him be able to be a father right he was there for his daughter's games he was coaching games he was motivating her entire team so it was like not only did he transition more into being you know a businessman and a mentor and challenging nba players giving them goals challenging challenging Giannis to be mvp but he also decided well not decided but he had more time to devote to being a father and he was still right there he was right there spending that time with with his daughters up until his very last moment richard you put it in perfect perspective thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again soon thank you guys frank he